Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where I can my desktop is pretty good. I can hear it. She's a she's a humming. I might have to give her a break. I just have to stop for a bit to turn the AC on because oh my gosh, I was sweating in here. Like it's fine it was fine all day until like three or four o'clock hit and it's just gonna get this happened last time I stayed up late gaming too. It only gets worse all night. And so that's that's cool. That's a cool function of my new abode that I have to deal with. Anyways, I'm also sure this guy is Oops. This place seems remarkably tense for a sacred grove. Perhaps we shouldn't linger. Okay. But let's at least see if there's a healer to be found, first of all. I should. Oh, I guess I can poke everybody and see what they think. I've never had cause to visit a druid's grove before. Magic weighs heavier here. Seeking solace in root and soil. Grounding, one might say. <laughs> We're all just staring at him like, okay. Scowl on your face. Every Githyanki has held a sword by uh -huh. age six and claims their first kill by age ten. That's nice. Yet these tieflings claim barely a single warrior among them. It's a wonder they survived even this long. You know, not all of us live on the astral plane. Blah. She wouldn't tell me even if she... Even if there was another way. It's like, cool, bud. Nobody asked. <laughs> I actually do want to trade her out for Asterian. Because I want to get Asterian out here. Even though I think he wouldn't approve of a lot of the stuff I'm doing, too. I thought I did think Shadowheart was more of a. How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? How can, can I get, get off of it? this? This needs to go away. Put it away. True. Whoa. Okay, turn it off. Anyway, I am also a hundred percent sure that this guy. That's right. I wanted to use Shadowheart to try to talk to him. I ought to speak. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. You are talking to the ox. I am. I am if we like left, sure of it. Make a run for it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the fact me. that the the ox is not as it appears. Metallic gloves. Can I have them? More for me. Wow. I can have this stuff. Is that a tiefling child? Oh my gosh, let me see. I should speak up. He stares right past you as if you're invisible. Or boring. He's adorable. He's all round. Turn around. You see nothing out of the ordinary. When you turn back, there's no trace oh, of the child. Oh, dang it. Why don't you guys say anything? Oh. Okay, maybe these children know. Oh, um, I... Oh my gosh. I don't have any money or anything to sell. My p partner does that. Oh my gosh, these children are adorable. What is your side? I don't, you don't usually see kids in these games, or you don't get to interact with them, or if you do, they're scary, and you're like, eh, and it's very uncanny valley, but these look like normal kids. What's your side of the business? <laughs> what? Um... Support. I'm the god. Yes. So don't steal anything. I'm watching you. You have pretty eyes. Oh, hey, you're one of those drow, right? Nice. Yes. I heard stories about you. How you all live underground and steal kids away. Hmm. You're thinking of the wolf swans. Do you see a pair of red eyes? Run. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna mince words. Um, hey, would you like to see something fun? I am beautiful. Look at me. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. Why are you just... Call it. Heads or tails? Uh, tails. Tails is yeah. it. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my mm. lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? 
Didn't she just tell me to take it? One coin toss doesn't prove anything. Okay, fair. Let's go again. Heads or tails, call it. Tails it is! There. Happy? No. I've got a free ring. Hey, hold on, you gotta pay for you that. You said I could have it. You're getting paid an experience? Oh my gosh, no, never. Hey, are you gonna have a bag? You got it. One sec. That's what I got. Uh, what? I didn't see it. I succeeded in perception. I don't know that she- did she hide it up her sleeve? She wasn't even wearing sleeves. Oh, dye! <gasps> oh my gosh, we can have dye? Oh my gosh, do I want yellow or red? I mean, the outfit's already kind of red. Pale orange. Pumpkins live in envy of this dye. Certainly very orange. <laughs> Simple and charming as a trip to the seaside. This dye will make even iron shine like the sun, the color of summertime sky, the strong... Oh, blue and yellow combination brings to mind a gala event in winter with yellow dresses twirling and laughter in the air. So it's not just blue, it's blue and yellow. Combine one of the primary colors and one you've seen a lot of given your career choice. Can I... I want all of them. Oh uh, yeah, I just want. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. I want all the dye. Ring of the Kinesis. Ring of resistance to ants. A glob of tree sap studded with dead ants occupies the space where the ring stone should be. Ring of infinite wishes. Ring of being really invisible. These are homemade rings. She made these. The ring is missing its gem, or maybe it's just very invisible. I don't know what lekinesis is. Something to do with fish? Tarball's guide to distractions. A much read guide to chicanery, stagecraft, and earning a quick coin. You shouldn't be selling that to me, child. Oh my goodness. You should probably keep that for yourself. It's obviously well read. Um, I'm a little hesitant on selling gems. I don't know what I'm gonna need. Here, I'll sell her a silver necklace too, and then um, coins to like measure it out. I kind of want to take one of the rings just because I think it's adorable. I think the ring of resistance to ants is hilarious. Yeah, I'm gonna take the ring of resistance to ants. I think it's so funny. Okay, we did it. I was hoping this would maybe go up, man. We did a good deal. You bought something. Most everybody says oh. it looks like junk and moves on. Collecting junk is a hobby. I I don't know. Is he a man? I don't know. Just wanted to support. Um... Yeah. Oh, you have. You definitely have. Anyway, see you again Dang sometime. It. Take care. He probably Safe he troubles. probably pickpocketed me. What? Do you realize your bag feels Yes. Alive? Okay. Good. You were just <laughs> the way she's patting herself down. I was gonna say the way he said, "You're very helpful," made me go, "Hmm, hey kid." I feel like that one, that one did it. I bought all that stuff from you, and you had the gall to steal from me. I really wanted the dies, though, for sure. I want the ring. It is so funny. <laughs> Just dead ends. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my can't these are my camp items. Okay. Alright, small child. Um, hello again. Yeah, give me my stuff back. I've been robbed, you see the guard, you see anything? Me? 
suspicious. No. Uh huh. Tell me the truth or I'll feed you to a bear. That's so mean. Do you know of any thieves around here? No, I sure don't. But, um, I'll go ask my boss for you. Right now. Come here, small child. <clears throat> yeah, I should certainly hope I saw it. When I saw him run in there. I can't use it. Why not? Do I need like a password? Do I need to talk to this kid again? <laughs> hey child. Hey, you're back. Here to buy some stuff? I don't have any money. Have you taken something? Something that doesn't belong to you? Me? No, promise. I'm just a kid trying to make a living. You know who you should talk to? Mal. She's my boss, I guess. Good at finding stuff. Her office is through the crack in the wall over there, if you can fit. You bet. Good luck, pal. This is all just a giant scam. Hang on, let me... Oh, so I don't... Not all my stuff's missing. Obviously. Is it just... No. I actually don't know what they took. My money. I still have money. I don't know what they took. <laughs> but I want it back, regardless. Even though I feel like I'm walking into a trap. Why? I'm too big. That's not fair. Um, how to make myself smaller? Somewhere underground are belongings. Oh, if I was a halfling or something, I bet you I could go in right now. Okay. That makes sense. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. It makes sense now. All right, I'll have to find a way underground-ish. That's where everybody's at. That's the Grove Center. Oh! Shoot, I forgot about that guy. Oh, the healer Nutty is over there, too. Let's go do the healer thing. I think that would be, that would be a big priority, honestly. I feel like that area is gonna be like it's like the main quest for the Where is this mouse creature? I can hear it. There's so many people to talk to. Children The Blade of Frontiers. <laughs> what a thrill for the children. <laughs> They're tough oh! kids. Smart there he is. Too. The future's in good hands. Hello. I am not Go on. Give me a best shot. Uh, yeah. Not bad. Again. He's attractive. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. <sighs> it's good advice. You do, child, you do well to listen. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. I hope that wasn't me. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become uh -oh. You are the blade of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Um Peter Furlan, that's so mean. Um, um, that seems very forward. Who was the, but the, oh, man, that's so, that, that's, that's prying. Yeah, or that's really lame though. Yes, and we both carry pairs. No, okay, that answers his question, yes. Mm. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet anyway. Could just be good luck. 
I'm not so. Your minds collide. Well, once okay. More. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. Please stop. A threat to the living. Evil. Stop implied. putting your memories Shit. in my head. You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. Oh, yay. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Diabolical forces and demons. So the devils versus demons. I mean, I think that's where we get Carlac somehow. She was like associated with that somehow. She was like forced to fight in that. Uh. This one seems like it goes off of what I just did, so Devil's Advocate, do you think she'll bring the Blood War to Farron? That ship sailed the sticks already. All I can hope for is to limit the damage. Her name is Carla. <gasps> an archdevil soul what? I swore on my good eye to Wait, 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 wait! I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of That's my wife you're talking about. That is that is my wife you're talking about. Listen, and I know because I looked it up, she was forced into doing it. She was forced into fighting. And I don't maybe she didn't have her mind or maybe she did, I don't know, but she was forced into it and now she wants to have revenge. Good luck with your devil problem. I'm um, looking to cure. Listen, I have bigger problems right now. I'm looking to cure this infection. I suggest we partner up. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath bound to go. That's my wife. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. Bothersome. I accept your invitation. Look at me. <laughs> You'll need to make room if you want to partner up, though. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. Okay. Um, if I leave, will he still swing and swing and okay? Oh. Let's have you leave. Chuck, be wary of false promises. Okay, okay. the missing druid, Halsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki safest can cleanse an embedded tadpole. Okay, wait. Um, there is a crush nearby, and we should probably have her in the party still. Eh, like, I want I want to have him in the party. You know what, Gail? I'm sorry, Gail. You gotta go back. What's on your mind? I like you, Gail. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be in the camp then, idling away the hours. Okay. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. I think it's funny that the two people I think I'm going to be most interested in are going to apparently be at great odds with one another. Uh, let's go on a devil hunt. Oh my gosh. Chuck, a tadpole feasts on our skulls, and you're signing on to chase devils. I've seen your people in battle. I reckon you are no mere warrior, but a god's damned army. I'd be a fool to let you turn your back. Pledge me your talents, and I'll pledge you mine. I'll presume that's Githyanki for yes. Now let's move. Hmm. The famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this hero act you've got going. Hero, Blade. Name strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. Why is everybody so mean? Why is everybody mean to each other? Hmm? Interesting. I do like that they comment on the addition. I kind of want to trade out Shadowheart for uh, Asterion. Oh boy, what does he want to be? Oh yeah, he's a warlock, that's right. I like this. The armor of shadows, you can cast the... 
Mage armor spell on yourself without expelling, expanding a spell slot. I feel like that's very, very good. And beguiling influence, which I assume would be useful in conversations. We'll see. Oh, I like that one. No, I don't want to. I like those ones. I am maybe dooming myself. Do okay, I thought we'd do this separately. Spells. Ooh. Crown of Madness. I mean, he's kind of—he's called the blade, so I'm gonna give him Pact of the Blade. I'm not looking up guides for any of this. I'm just doing, swing and swing doing what and I want. And again, swing and swing and still breathing, despite everything. Step, parry, strike. I can't. Oh it. no. It's just not landing. It's not working. Uh, interesting technique. Having some trouble? Nothing but. You're invisible. Goblins in the wild, out for blood. And the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with the You're sword. invisible, though. So. Read his thoughts. No. Um... I feel like this would be better, but I think athletics I have... Yeah, athletics I have a better chance. <gasps> a nat 20! I don't even think that matters really here, but yay! Uh, like this, you mean? Step, oh, they step, both approve. Strike. Or yes. all three. You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. Um, yeah, one more thing, don't shout your moves out like that, spoils the surprise for your foe. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. Uh, dang, she approves because it's warrior stuff. Keep training, in time you'll make short work of any goblins. Hopefully, it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. This guy... Thank you. <laughs> I'm... He's... He's completely invisible. Ooh, I gave her, uh, inspiration. Um, oh, um, hey, wait, who are you? You? Oh, you're the crush one. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open, too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? I'm a monster. Uh. Uh. Are these mean? I mean, she's the one who walked up to him. She should bow first. Hold it, I'll see to this one. You dare interrupt? Yeah. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? I don't know what you're doing. Uh. Fine. I guess like, she's the one. Who, I don't know. I don't know what to ask. Bow. Lower. That's enough. Yeah. You dare yeah, interrupt? Yeah, I'm done. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? I, I can do better than this. You will be silent. Stand up. Thanks. What do you want from me? Uh, information. Where did you see the Githyanki? On the road to Baldur's Gate, N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly, straight to the other side. Man, I just, I just. Ran. The map. Show me. 
Like, she can't impose her own cultural expectations on someone who doesn't know. Uh, thanks for your help and apologies for my companion. No hot feelings. Uh, uh oh. My game is glitched out. The last time a subordinate questioned my judgment, I ate tongue stew that very night. Hilarious. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. Hey, if you finish scowling at me, what comes next? Also, I think it's hilarious that she thinks I'm a subordinate. The teethling was clear. Teethling? If I make a Yankee west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. <laughs> Did you say tiefling? I'm not gonna know. What do you mean purification? The crash holds the Zaphisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. Uh, okay, fine. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I am unfamiliar with the... Well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this... Fey run. Uh, no, no, it's Farron. <laughs> what is she, freaking Cassandra? <gasps> Mouse! Uh, come here, come here, come here, you. I would, I would speak to you. Animal handling, calm the creature. Uh, I'm not gonna use it. Okay, nice. The rat's eyes soften as he emits a pained squeak. Aww. You realize the source of his discomfort. One of his front teeth is chipped. Uh, that's what, what do you want? It, he'll be fine. The rat pauses, gauging whether his chipped tooth is in fact life-threatening. Apparently satisfied, he okay. beckons Ooh, okay. the squeak. Follow. Oh, into here? Can I knock? I don't know how to get in. Apparently there's a way through the back. Through here? It's nice that I have omniscient vision. Gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Ah, uh, the goblins in need of judgment. I should decide her fate. Sure, I can do that. I didn't ask for you to say a damn thing. Keep out of it. I mean, I'm trying to help. Um, I mean, I was like, it's kind of her right, but also like the whole reason you don't really want someone to kill something is because it will hurt them in the end more than it would. Well, not hurt the dead person, obviously, but it would hurt the person who does it. Um, step between. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You gonna kill her, too? <laughs> you! Move! Um... Should I try? I mean, I already know what the... <gasps> Customized eyes. <gasps> well... No, I like the metal ones better. Oh, well, it's too late. Well, that sucks. Uh... 
Uh, sure, I have four, and that maxes it out, so I might as well use one. Oh my, okay. Canon would hate me for this. Oh. But he's not here. They took him from me. This won't avenge Canon, it won't change anything. I picked the canon option because I feel like because I read her thoughts and realized like her thought is that canon wouldn't like this for her I'm gonna bring up his name you're right I wish you weren't I really do she's like oh that worked damn you damn it well, why do you care if a goblin lives or dies I don't really Yes, because vengeance eats people alive. You'll grant the goblins two victories this day. T Your soft heart will be the death of us. You'd better be right. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Will disapproves? You're gonna be sorry! Every last one of you! Shut up. Didn't expect to see a drow in here. Did the boss lady send you to rescue me? Oh, who? Oh, hmm. Yes, uh, yeah, deception. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, yeah, we are definitely, uh, rolling guidance on that old piece. No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was close. That was close. Yeah. Take me back to the tribe, and we'll tell the boss all about this pretty little place, so she can burn it to the ground. We'll be heroes, blessed by Priestess Gut, in the name of the Absolute. Why do we wanna, um... I get I could keep the deception going. Because if I ask these questions, she'll know. You won't regret it, promise. What? Why do they disapprove? Oh, you teeths are all boring. Even your cages are boring. No, I don't. I'm trying to... Trying to go to the journal. It's like stuck on this. I'm gonna have to save. And reload. Let me I think it's part of the reason I can't uh I can't access the journal. Cause I'm just trying to keep the deception going. I guess I shouldn't deceive though. I'm a paladin. Oh no. Okay, no, we'll go back and I'll be like, maybe we can get some information out of her. We can persuade her or intimidate her. Dang it. Okay, here's the journal. Hunt down Carlin. Okay, I need to do, okay, I need to get the, that's like we need to get the parasites taken care of, but I also need to get Carlac. Oh, she promised us to their powerful healer if we break her out. And oh, I was just trying to be. Any luck opening this cage? Princess Gut is quite the name, or Priestess Gut is quite the name. Tell me more. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <laughs> Mighty booyog. Oh, okay. Who is this absolute? The absolute is gold from the sky, she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. We're burning her name across the face of the world, we are. Okay. Alright, so I accidentally, um... Oh, you teeths are all boring. Even your cages are boring. Dang it. I was just trying to be deceptive. Anyway. Why can't I get there? No, I only came this way. Because I was hoping to be able to get around. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids. And your birdies. Oh well. I guess I'll just have that journal entry. Forever. <laughs> could I just, I mean I could just kill her I guess. 
Okay, so Karlak's on the way to the Githyaki crash. Okay, well, we will resolve the stuff in here. Oh, I want to talk to these guys. Yeah, who left the... Left the druid behind. If it ain't the friendly drow, thought you were with the goblins when you showed up at oh, the gate. Okay. But you, weren't. you fight well. Not like them bloody tieflings. You might have an easier time here if you demonstrated more honor in your dealings. Please. A good sword will get your father than honor any day. So you did leave that guy behind. What do you want anyway? I ain't local. I know knew the fella in charge but barely said two words to the devil swarm in his place oh my gosh and whose home is this exactly druids and they ain't the friendly type the only one of them worth a damn was the leader and he ain't here anymore did you do something to him you have any idea where he is aye his name's Halsin and if he's still alive he'll be cursing the day he laid eyes on me we've got a contract to track down some relic, and he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. Did you think getting rich would be easy? Don't know what I expected. That much gold for some long lost relic, and from a wizard, too. I should have known. The gold probably turns to lead the moment you leave Baldur's Gate. Stupid thing to die for. And what the relic actually is? If I knew that, I wouldn't be back here with half my crew gone. But look, if you're itching to meet Kellenvor, I won't stop you. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own chodger. Oh boy. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back, if you feel like dying. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. How about you leave then? Goodbye. Sure. Sayonara. Nobody sense. wants you around. Um, right. <clears throat> Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city. Sorry, don't mind me. I'm reading your books. The book naturally falls to dog-eared page in which Bumbo describes the more unusual races he's met in his travels. But they weren't half so strange as the bird folk. Oh my gosh, did we get to meet Eric Coker? First Eric Coker I met had the head of a parrot, the body of a human, and the wings also of a parrot. I tried not to stare, but it was real hard. Turns out she was a, one of a motley party because around her table was a tabaxi, a ganassi, and a turtle. Trying to act casual, I asked what the hell they all were. They ignored me, but I can't blame it to them. It must have looked awfully dull on average, for they were the first of their kind I'd seen. But I was just one of a billion boring humans to them. Oh, jeez, what? I will. Um, these are all the races that we don't have right now, but maybe we will have access to them later. Hmm. Can't wait to get back to the gate. Uh, wait, oh, I'm sorry. I just actually just wanted to talk. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Hi. <laughs> uh, I know, right? This is kind of a... Uh, don't mind me, I'm just passing through. No bother. We're just daydreaming, anyhow. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? Um. I uh, won't we'll be joining you. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, I'd heard you were good in a fight. Good luck to you then, and wish us some too. I mean, I'm not. I don't want to go to Baldur's Gate necessarily. Die if I met a rogue and reeking of this place. I'll never get the speed. Interesting. Who's yelling about somebody bothering them? Dennis. Damn goblins! Oh, you're one of the humans. Should probably get that looked at. Oh, I. I was just gonna let it fall off, stick it in my satchel. I ain't letting anyone here near me. They all sat and watched while Zevlor near got us killed. They're not warriors. 
You are to blame, you put his people in danger. And what about our people? Half the crew's lying dead back in that place. That's way. your choice! Even the new lad, his first contract, and we land him in a god's damn goblin nest. He actually stood and fought the stupid bastard. Like I never trained him better. Uh, I'm guessing that it didn't end well. No, so you just left your friend of the goblins? These weren't no normal goblins. And Liam weren't no friend. All right. Just another raw recruit. Thought he was in some storybook. Touch me and I'll bite your fingers off. I will. Who is that? I can't. Okay. Some guy's harassing somebody up here and I'm going to beat the crap out of him. Shows off his thunder wave. I'm only gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head. Uh, okay, look, the kid probably has it, but this guy's being a jerk. Don't you dare lay a finger on that child. You threatening me? I am so much bigger than you. Raise a hand to that child and you'll lose it. Your choice. How come all my intimidation checks I keep failing? Roll again. <laughs> this time I'm, I have to be okay. Okay. I would have been okay without all this. But... Take that. You don't understand. The kid stole my locket. He. Go oh, the hell's with this. Ah, uh, that kid. Devils get away with everything because of cuddly bastards like you. You'll get yours someday. I hope I get to see How about I just punch Maybe you, you off? Will. But personally, I doubt it. See you around. Yeah, I mean, I don't care that the kid stole it, but I do want to follow him and see... ...where he goes. Back into the little place that I cannot get to. Kid, give me a hint. Hey, you're back. Here to buy some stuff? Dang it. Oh, well. Well, not oh, well. I'll figure it out eventually, but not right now. I keep getting. There's so much. To, not so much to do, but there's stuff to do, and I keep getting distracted. This is the part where I normally say thank you to my patrons while I'm recording the video, but this is editing squirrel because there was a recent change to patron stuff, uh, to patron people. So I'm paying attention and I'm including that. So really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of you, including the acorns. Thank you so much, Adam, for your support at the acorn tier patron. And thank you so much, Fane, for your support at the acorn tier patron level. Uh, and I want to give a special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. You've been supportive for a very long time and I appreciate that. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, who is my forest tier patron and has gone above and beyond in his support of the channel for a long time now and who is just super supportive and super wonderful and comments all the time. I really appreciate you a lot. I hope you know that. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.